It's Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023. It's 12.10 p.m., 41 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We're doing a tour of Webster Groves. We're at the Webster Groves Schnooks here. There's no better time to be in Webster Groves than around Thanksgiving. We are 12 miles from the Gateway Arch. Okay, here's 431 Yorkshire Place. This is where William Webster lived. He is the only man to be the head of the FBI and then the head of the CIA as well. And he went to Webster Groves High School. He came back not too long ago and actually visited the people who live in this home currently. He was head of the FBI from 1978 to 1987. And he was head of the CIA from 1987 to 1991. And more recently, he worked with the Department of Homeland Security. This is a picture of him in 2016. Hey, this is Mary Queen of Peace, Catholic Elementary School. And the church is over here, Mary Queen of Peace. Hey, there's a Jets pizza right there. And that's the Ozzie Smith IMAC Regeneration Center. And over here is a Straub's grocery store. The Parkmore Drive-In. And we got a St. Louis Bread Company again over here. And just down the street here on Gray, this is Bristol Elementary School. There's a hair salon here. And right here is the Kirkwood Webster Times. And this is the Webster Groves Presbyterian Church. Here's an animal hospital right here. And this is the First Congregational Church, United Church of Christ. That's a real tea company over there, Sugar Creek. All right, this is at Lockwood and South Elm, right here in the heart of Webster Groves. And that's City Hall right there. And here's the front of City Hall. And this is the Webster Groves Police Department right next to City Hall.
Hey, and that's the Webster Groves Masonic Temple. And the scouts are selling Christmas trees. And we got some senior living across the way here. And the Ozark Theater, that's Webster Groves Performing Arts Center right there. All right, here's Dewey's Pizza. Okay, you can see those really beautiful colors I had there. We're going to take a turn here on Plant Avenue. This is 41 Plant Avenue right here. This is where Gordon Jenkins lived. He's a real famous composer and arranger and pianist. And he actually wrote Crescent City Blues, which uh, Johnny Cash turned into Folsom Prison Blues. He also arranged Jingle Bells for Frank Sinatra, the one that you hear, the swinging version you hear a lot this time of year. And it was a very good year for which he won a Grammy Award for Best Instrumental Arrangement. And he has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And we're continuing on Lockwood. And right here, this is the Webster Groves Public Library. Okay, so here on Mason, this is Holy Redeemer Catholic Church right here for one thing and school. And right next to Holy Redeemer, this is 30 Mason Avenue. 30 Mason Avenue. This is where Phyllis Diller lived. She bought this in about 1962. She was a trailblazer, the first real great female comedian. And I'm going to read you a quote from Phyllis Diller. She told this to the editor of St. Louis Magazine. St. Louis is a wonderful town, a friendly town, a town with a great deal of talent, a town with lovely people, and a wonderful place to raise children. That's Phyllis Diller who said that. And she has a star on the St. Louis Walk of Fame. And here's the front of Holy Redeemer School. And there's the church over there. right here is Christ Lutheran Church we're getting in over here to Webster Groves High School and they have a big game coming up tomorrow they've been playing Kirkwood for over a hundred years and uh, consistently on Thanksgiving since 1928. The game is at Kirkwood this year. So they'll be having a chili cook-off from 5 to 7 here tonight at Webster Groves. Kirkwood's also having one at the same time. And they usually have a bonfire the night before. They'll have a pep rally and a bonfire. Only Kirkwood's having a bonfire this year because a couple of Webster Groves fields are being renovated. And that's a nice looking sign right out front right there. Webster Groves, a great high school. Kirkwood is too. I, they won't want me to say that, but Kirkwood's had its video, so we're on Webster Groves now. But they're both great. So here we are again, the Webster Groves Statesman. This is the high school. We'll get more into those other fields, I'll mention those later. This is Selma Field here. This is where the soccer team plays. The boys have won three state championships in soccer in class three, and the girls have also won one. Okay, this is their baseball field that's being renovated. Harry Carey went here to Webster Groves, as well as his son Skip Carey. He was an announcer for the Browns and Cardinals, and then the Cubs. 
This is a picture of him at Sportsman's Park in St. Louis. Andy has a star on the St. Louis Walk of Fame. Adrian Claiborne went here. He was a defensive end. Won a Super Bowl with the Patriots over the Rams. And William Webster, who I mentioned earlier. And right next to that is the campus of Webster University. Jennifer Lewis went here. A great actress. She also has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She was in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She was in the movie Beaches and Sister Act. She was in What's Love Got to Do With It as Angela Bassett's mother who played Tina Turner. And she's in The Preacher's Wife. She was Whitney Houston's mother in that. Here's this famous sculpture in front that they always are talking about. Here at Webster University. Okay, again, another beautiful school here, Webster University. Also, Marsha Mason went here. She's another actress. She won two Golden Globes. She had four Academy Award nominations. She was in The Goodbye Girl with Richard Dreyfuss. She was on Frasier. Those are just a few examples. She's been in many, many other things, and she has a star on the St. Louis Walk of Fame. That's Marsha Mason. She went to Webster University. Lloyd Austin went here. He got an MBA in business management in 1989. He's the current Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin. And Rocky Carroll went here. He's an actor. He was on Rock on Fox. He was on Chicago Hope on CBS and NCIS. And he was in the movie Crimson Tide that had Gene Hackman and Denzel Washington. That's Rocky Carroll. And they've had astronauts, a state Supreme Court justice, all kinds of distinguished alumni here at Webster University. Here's some more of Webster University here. Hey, here's a preschool here next to it. And their church as well, Emmanuel Church Protestant Episcopal. And this is some more of Webster University back here. That's another one of their buildings right there as well. This is the back of that same building right here. And this is all Webster University still. Now we're at Nerinx Hall High School, which is next to Webster University. Okay, here's Nerinx Hall's field. Lori Kolopny went here. She won a gold medal in 2008 and a World Cup in 2015. That's me with her. Marsha Mason went here as well before she went to Webster University. And as I mentioned earlier, she has a star on the St. Louis Walk of Fame. And they're doing construction here at Nerex. 
Well, also, Jenna Fisher went here. She is on The Office, one of three St. Louisans to be on that show. The other two were Phyllis Smith and Ellie Kemper. And Mary Fran went here. She was on Newhart. She was Bob Newhart's wife on the show. And Colleen Quigley went here. She's a really great runner, an Olympic runner. That's Serrano's Cafe right across the street over there. And here's the Webster Groves Baptist Church. And here's the Old Orchard Presbyterian Church. Okay, here's Webster United Methodist Church. Okay, right here are the Douglas Manor Apartments. This is where Douglas High School was from 1926 to 1956. It was a segregated high school named after Frederick Douglas. He was an abolitionist and one of the most important civil rights activists of the 19th century. If you walk around in these neighborhoods, that's what really gives you a flavor of Webster Groves. Look at the beautiful colors. They have beautiful trees here in Webster Groves. And really down any of these streets, just really beautiful. Here's the Art of Entertaining restaurant. Here's Hickson Middle School here on South Elm. And we got a football game going on on the field over there, a uh, pickup game. And here is the football field, Moss Field, right here, being renovated. And that's why there's no bonfire tonight for, the Web for Webster Groves High School. They have four football state championships, 1979, 1988, 2002, and 2009. So this is the Webster Groves Recreation Complex. This is where they play ice hockey. And there's tennis courts on the other side. This is Annunciation Catholic Church. Here's the Holy Trinity Anglican Church. So this is the Hawken House here. They actually think this was built in 1867, post-Civil War, actually. You see on that first sign it says 1857, but on the house they've changed it to 1867 because they found some documents. See that right there says 1857, and that says 1867, which is what they think now. Well, the Historical Society, that's their mat there. And this is the back of the Hawken House here or the side of it. All right, this is 83 Webster Woods Drive. It's the Jonathan Franzen boyhood home. He's a novelist. Wrote the 2001 novel, The Corrections, which won a National Book Award. And in 2010, he wrote Freedom, those are just a couple of examples. He's a great novelist. That's where he grew up, the Jonathan Franzen boyhood home. Okay, here's the Canaan Baptist Church. Okay, this is Clark Elementary School. And we're going to wrap it up from there. They're ready for the big game tomorrow. Webster Groves and Kirkwood.
And that's who they're rooting for, go Webster. So that is our tour of Webster Groves. Happy Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much turkey. Tomorrow, Kirkwood and Webster Groves, the Turkey Day game. And the winner gets the Frisco Bell. So thanks again for watching. Happy Thanksgiving.